Welcome to episode 13, stage 6 of the 2016 offseason, which I guess is 2017. I don't understand why they do that, but they do, so technically 2016 still. I don't know. I think it's 2017. It would totally be in 2017. But draft recap, let's go here. Let me get my sheet here. Okay, due to uh, our... little game that we've been playing of changing positions the number one rated player in the draft best draft pick goes to the Super Bowl losers the Giants and it's the Terrius Sessions the next Adrian Peterson 94 speed 75 awareness superstar development 88 overall um, we'll see how that works. So they got a great running back for four years. And uh, run him into the ground. See what happens. Okay, so that's our winner. Our loser might be Texans pick. Though not terrible. Texans is spelled with a T. Slow development, 78 overall. Um, safety, strong safety, so he's just going to develop slowly, but I mean, it's probably good enough to start, I would think. So that's, that's unfortunate when you get a slow in the beginning. And then uh, the Texans, the George Bradley, who I think is what we picked for the Titans to get slow development. Isn't that our guy we... No. Oh, Darren Eugene. 79 overall, so... Yep, uh, let's see. Things to talk about here are... The Pats drafted this linebacker that was a red player that I skipped out on right here oh no left end superstar development red player 66 tackle that's kind of an interesting stat I mean thankfully you can boost your stats in this one directly so I mean it wouldn't be terrible uh, nothing else really stood out to me other than that um, Lions took a quick development defensive tackle that I looked at, but the rest of them were slow development. There were one, two, three, four, four slow development players in the draft. So our draft pick was just, you know, what did we pick? We picked 29th, so 76 overall. The Giants pick was just so amazing. Um, and the Chiefs center afterwards, so the next pick after us, I, I, you know, because I kind of looked at that center too, and I said, you know, I already have two centers on the team, but super star development center, so uh, missed out on that a little bit. Drafts are drafts, and we got players, and I'm thinking about moving Micah Hyde to corner gonna take a little beating because it's gonna cost six points to change safety to to corner is six points so let's let's do that he's an 80 overall safety cornerback and then we got to lose the six points of awareness we're gonna be down to 69 76 puts him ahead of Quentin Rollins. I'm gonna roll with that. That's our adjustment here. Um, kind of.
kind of low on defensive linemen. We've got too many linebackers, but they're all three, four linebackers. So it's gonna be a little bit of a rough season after going 13 and or whatever we did. We were what did we go last year? Let me look here. We're Ten and six. We fired our coach. <laughs> So let's just move forward in the, to the preseason. Preseason. 2017 preseason. Playing the Raiders. Don't have to pick up any players, but we should look to see what kind of salary cap we have. This is not where I wanted to be. And it's taking a long time to load. Um, what was I going to say about that? Uh, you know, sign a couple free agents and going back to my sheet here. Vernon Davis, Julian Stanford, and Anthony Smith, um, Vernon Davis. He has 82 speed, 70, 78 speed, and then I think he has 84 speed. So I don't know about the Vernon Davis signing. Maybe we'll cut him. I'm not sure yet. Spriggs and Balaga. No, I don't think that, but Tyreek Hill is defense. Yeah, so Jacqueline Smith is our only player. Jacqueline Smith, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Smith, our only starter that we picked up here. He's a speed rushing left end. Let's go look at the free agent center. Let's pick him real quick. Uh, we have no cap room. That's a quick development center available. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's with his. So we do have some cap room. Not a whole heck of a lot. Defensive tackles. Jonathan Babineau. Can't do it just short. We could do Allen Branch. Nope, can't do Allen Branch. Gotta be something cheaper. can do a defensive tackle. We gotta get on the cheap side. I can't afford these big heavy priced guys. Let's go by strength and cheapest. So we have a 72 in Latroy Guyon. Terrence Cody. Can't do that, huh? Slow development. Oh, I could. A one-year rental. Big, strong. Look at that finesse move. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a possibility, guys. You know. There's some options here. Pass rushing one. Pass rushing defensive tackle. This is I'm just a nose tackle.
2.28 million. So he's doing it on the cheap too. We need a back. We need a backup defensive tackle. I think we need to sign one. I think that's a severe weakness. And then maybe I don't know. Let's check out the right outside linebackers and the left outside linebackers real quick. Chad Greenway. Ray Ray Armstrong. 72. I think we stick with what we got. Stick with what we got on that, and we go get a really strong defensive tackle. Let's sign a defensive tackle. I sniffled. Terrence Cody. substantially stronger than everybody else. Forty three speed. Oh, I don't know. like the absolute strong Torrance Cody for some reason he's just like calling me like you want to sign me a tower Rubin slightly better but I can't afford him guy to keep around. At least 67. Uh, yep, Packers have decided to sign T Terrence Cody to a one-year $2.18 million deal to clog up the center and see what happens. I uh, switched USB ports to see if that takes away the hiss. Turn this down a little bit. I don't want to turn it on too much though. Preseason is over. Let's look at the stats for preseason for the Packers. Uh, Brett Hundley, Aaron Rodgers, two quarterbacks. Aaron Rodgers, 79%. Brett Hundley, 61%. Ratings, 140. Let's do that in the regular season. Rushing. James Starks was our leader. Eddie Lacy, 4.2 yards a carry. I like to see that. We have a new scheme since we fired our coach. Cordell Patterson was the leading receiver. Tyreek Hill. Defensively, let's see if we had the sacks. Dean Lowry. Bison Holsley. Mike Daniels. Hakeem Smith. Jack Williams Smith. And Terrence Cody. Uh, interceptions. Good. Good to see that. So that was our our stats for the preseason. Um, we moved Micah Hyde to corner. So our defense currently looks like this. Uh, this is going to be very interesting on these uh, right and left side quarterback. Uh, linebackers because they're not really good at their job and Clay Matthews is the what seventh ranked linebacker Jaron Elliott though 
is the 44th ranked linebacker. And, uh, oops. Kyler's a little better. Oh, 45th. So, yeah. What about Terrence Cody? Uh, 85th ranked defensive tackle. As you can see, Mike Daniels. He might be the only fourth ranked right end. There we go. <laughs> Ah, uh, that defense. Plus, they don't show who's got quick and stuff like they do in the other Madden. I like that. I do like that. So, just a blue background. Uh, offensively, this is what we're sticking with. John Kuhn. One more year out of John Kuhn. So, uh, what I need to do is cut four players. So four people get to get moved to the practice squad. Uh, we're going to do our bench corner. Uh, another bench corner. He stays, he stays, he stays, he stays. Kenshaw Bryce. We have to cut one more player. Mm. We might cut Mitchell Henry. can put Bryson Hosley on the practice squad. Yep. Okay, so that was the four required and now I can pick up some practice squad players. Spend some EXPs. Let's see what options we have. Paul Perkins. Carl Nassab. Hmm. Oh. Thought about something for the draft next year. Next year, two players change their age to 20. Two players again to age change their for the draft to 25. So we're gonna add some 20 year olds to the to the league. I think we're just doing two. Uh, we'll do two 25s. You know, and uh, see how that goes. That should add a little more flavor, just in general. So I'm going to I'm going to get my practice squad players and then go on from there. Okay guys, practice squad players uh Jaquim Grant, a very fast wide receiver who made I don't know. I don't know, but he's as fast faster than Tyreek Hill. Uh not sure what his uh kick return is. Kick return is 85. So we'll see what happens with him. Uh, we took JT Blackshear, another really fast wide receiver. It just needs some developing. So see if they can stick on the team. Uh, let's see, next up, Sean Coleman here. Uh, he looked like the best available run blocking offensive lineman to develop uh, so he might have a starting spot next year Carl Nassib is, uh, a right end, a balanced right end not good at anything but a little bit of everything, we'll see what happens with him here's our draft pick that we picked so another a left end that's going to sit on there this guy if I saw this right, his 85 speed. But where's where is his 86 strength, 85 speed? 
This guy's a big, rough linebacker. So we'll see what happens with him. One of my corners. And then Josh Hawking, a corner I like that never developed good. And then ankle breaker himself, Kentrell Bryce. Still on the team, I don't know why, but he is there. So I'm going to spend XP, build my spreadsheet, and lock in week one. So we might as well go to the first week. And then do that. We have the first week of training in our spreadsheet. On average, we should just do that, huh? Let's do that. We'll just have that in there. So truly, your spreadsheet gets locked after the first training of the regular season. But yeah, what do you think of that? 20 and 25-year-old players? That way... Um, two Madden players will get an extra year and two Madden players will regress before their four year is up. That would be pretty interesting. Some superstar, you know, great player and and then he just regresses super early. The dog's barking. Guys, we're 1-0. Beat the Lions after going undefeated in the preseason. Uh, Clay Matthews had an interception. Morgan Burnett had an interception. Aaron Rodgers... Matthew Stafford didn't play well, but uh, the game was not close either. So, rushing-wise, Eddie Lacy. Now we're doing this power run game, so 5.4 yards a carry is amazing. James Starks, not so amazing, but I'll take that all day long. i uh, like to see this under four. Uh, receiving, Jordy Nelson is now the two, which is going to help him because he'll get... He'll face less. Uh, the, he won't face the greatest quarterback corner on the team, so that makes Randall the one. So he'll probably suffer a little bit, and then Devontae will be at the slot or the three. Uh, uh, no pancake, no sacks for Aaron Rodgers. One pancake block for Lindsley. Uh, let's see. So. A right outside linebacker, cornerback, cornerback, defensive tackle. All right, so Clay Matthews, not so many singles, but total tackles. Let's see who sack, half and a half sack for him, and a half for him. Interceptions, like I said, Clay Matthews, and, and they were both put in good field position after the interceptions, which are the best kind of interceptions. You know. So, one of the reasons I do a green required deal on free agents is because it's too easy to game the system by just offering decent players low ball offers. And I would think that you would, as if this was a realistic AI kind of thing, the computer would be like, you're a jerk GM. We don't want to go play for you if you're going to be offering low ball offers, you know. So, that's why I think that we should be required to uh, offer greens and not anything less than that so yep yeah. uh, let's just check the injury report nothing on the injury side so that's good next week oh that was totally not the right week this gives us kind of an idea of who's available I'll have to take a look at that go to next week and see what how things are going. I'll see you around pretty quickly, I would assume. This might be the beginning of the episode. I just cannot remember off the top of my head. It is not, so it is episode 13. And uh, yep, we're going to face the 0 and 1 Browns. Are we in first in our division? Oh, the Bears are ahead of us because reasons. Okay, let's let's uh let's just look at that trade block real quick and see if there's anyone. We're not really looking for a quarterback, but Dak Prescott is not the the future for them. We're always looking for some uh does this say what kind it is? No, it doesn't say Ooh, 
I didn't want that. I want to look at his player card. One cut back. Not power back. Anyways, Alfred Morris. Power back. Yep. Alfred Blue, not a power back. Oh, power back. Yeah. Chandrick West. They do show their developments. So you can see here that Matt Jones is a quick develop. Running back. Fullbacks. Andy Benovich. Wide receivers. Just kind of looking for tight ends. We drafted one. It's such a difference in type, speed, and catching there. Austin Hooper. I mean, he just got paid like crazy. Right tackle? 75 is... Well, anyways, anyways. Uh, ooh, you know what? How about a cover linebacker? That'd be nice. Nothing really on the right side. How about the left side? Eighty-five speed to get it done. Brooks Reed. Hmm. Calvinoy. Um, just, oh, look at Brian Maxwell. Oh, yeah, these, like, got signed off the Seahawks to the Dolphins for a big deal. Ah, it's a little early in this. Oh, well. Thanks for watching, guys. And that's going to be the end of episode 13. Episode 14 will be farther in the future. Talk to you later. Bye.